There's something kind of special about connecting a legend to a place. It adds interest, drama, and romance. This is Jump Off Rock. It's located in the town of Laurel Park, North Carolina, a short distance from Hendersonville. It offers stunning panoramic views of the Blue Ridge Mountains. On a clear day, you can see all the way from Flat Rock to Asheville. You can see the Pisgah National Forest, the Blue Ridge Parkway, and the towns and valley below. In the morning, the sun is at your back, which makes for great photography. In the evening, it's a popular place to watch the setting sun. Now the legend. You can imagine a young Cherokee maiden standing here, watching and waiting for her lover to return from war. Sadly, word came that he'd been killed in battle. The legend says she was so overwhelmed by grief that she jumped from the rocks to her death. On moonlit night, some say you can see her keeping vigil, waiting and walking on the rock. Up until the latter part of the 19th century, this area was not easily accessible. But the railroad, and later the automobile, changed that. The area became a hot destination for tourists seeking relief from the summer heat. Jump Off Rock is 3,100 feet above sea level. Not as high as the Smoky Mountains, but high enough to experience cool mountain breezes in the dog days of summer. In 1888, the mountain known as Jump Off Mountain or Echo Mountain was sold to developers and the real estate boom was on. In 1925, a Miami, Florida developer named J. Perry Stoltz announced that he was going to build a 15-story luxury hotel near the top of the mountain. It would be called the Fleetwood of Hendersonville and it would have a radio station on the top floor. Stoltz already owned the Fleetwood on Miami Beach. Construction began on September 9, 1925. Steel girders went up, and the exterior was completed all the way to the 13th floor. And then, everything stopped. A major hurricane in Florida hit Stoltz businesses hard, and the overheated economy and stock market, much of it built on credit, was heading for the cliff. Soon, the country would be in the grip of the Great Depression. In 1937, the Fleetwood was sold to a scrapper, and it was gone. Today, a condominium stands in its place. Jump Off Rock is about a half a mile away. A St. Petersburg, Florida developer named J.W. McAdoo purchased the property to build a 120-room hotel, but he too fell victim to the economy. Eventually, he donated the land to the city for use as a park. The park has three hiking trails in addition to the scenic overlook area on the rock. It's only about a 10 minute drive from downtown Hendersonville and 45 minutes from Asheville. The park is open from sunrise to sunset every day and is used for various community events like Easter sunrise services, concerts, as well as picnics and weddings. The parking lot is just a few feet from the rock. There's no charge to visit but there are also no restrooms. The local newspaper captures what happened here. The headline reads, Real Estate Hysteria Doomed Hendersonville's Laurel Park and Million Dollar Fleetwood. Moisture from floating clouds, like investors' tears. The Indian maiden can still wait for her lost love here in peace, but now she may have to share Jump Off Rock with some of those who lost their fortunes up here.